Hi guys, it's me Faye here at Faye Desk and I'm back with another video. We are doing another one in my Moon Magic 101 series and this phase of the moon we're going to be taking a brief look at the full moon. <coughs> so the full moon, this phase begins between 15 and 18 and a half days after the new moon. The key words um of this phase that you um are things like forgiveness and results and gratitude the full moon is the high point of the cycle any sort of spell work that you may want to do during this moon phase anything for transformation uh, to increase your psychic ability and fertility spells work particularly well during this phase Although it is important to, well, I feel like I should say that some uh, some witches and some traditions and practices, they don't do spells during this phase of the moon, during the full moon. It, it's more about sort of like looking inwards and observation and things like that. They don't actually perform spells during this phase. But everybody's different, a lot of witches do. I know I do. Um, so, this uh, time in the moon's um, journey is of strength and love and power. In this phase, the moon represents uh, the goddess in her mother aspect. And the full moon lasts from three days before to three days after the full moon. So the full moon lasts for six days in total. Uh, positive activities that you may want to do uh, during this time is anything for um, anything you want towards fertility magic. Uh, dream magic is another good one, meditation, anything to do with love or beauty, or money, uh, anything to do with your creativity and psychic abilities. This is also a time of heightened feelings, so it is not a time to be making major decisions. Hi guys, my camera decided to die on me just then, which is just fabulous. So that's back to it. So as I was saying, the full moon at this time of the moon phase, or may moon's journey, you may or may not be aware of your heightened emotions. So it would be unwise to make any major decisions. So whether that's financial, relationship, career, anything like that, anything major decision-wise, it is not an ideal time to make those decisions as you may be swayed in a negative way by your emotions. And goal-wise, any sort of major workings towards your goals should occur now as its climax of the obvious moon power and also as well any sort of intentions that you may have set during the new moon or goals you may have been working towards since the waxing moon some of your short short term goals you may see now come to fruition at the full moon and also as well i just the full moon has a very sort of potent energy like you could just feel the the air like the atmosphere just crackling with energy and i don't know it's like you just feel the goddess like at, like just the power like it's just it's just incredible like if you can go outside during the full moon i would highly recommend it even if you can just spend like five minutes just stood and just stood outside under the sky especially with your when like barefoot and just feel like just soak up the energy of the moon beaming down onto the earth and just it's just incredible like if you can do it i would so recommend it as it's just amazing it's just like a really really amazing feeling you just feel so connected like it's just incredible 
but anyway i would love to know what you tend to do during the full moon and if this is your favorite phase of the moon let me know and why and yeah i will see you very soon in my next video blessed be Mwah.